Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing a spring floral arrangement using the little burlap bunny bucket that I showed recently in my Dollar Tree haul. Now these adorable bunny buckets have since sold out and but I seen them at Hobby Lobby so be sure and grab one if you happen to run across them. If you like these type of videos please subscribe to my channel and click that bell notification to be notified when I upload new video. So let me show you how I put all of this together. I did use my Aileen's Stiff and Quick and I sprayed the entire bucket um, with it and just so that it would stiffen it up just a little bit because coming from the Dollar Tree it's a little flimsy. The ones from Hobby Lobby are a little more sturdy so you kind of get what you pay for but I love this Aline Stiff and Quick it is available in my Amazon shop I will leave a link in the description below so you can check that out if you do not have it available in your area this square styrofoam block is perfect for this bunny bucket. So this is what I'm going to be gluing in the bottom of the bucket to put all of my flowers into. Now to get it to, uh, you know, adhere to the bottom, I'm using my Aileen's Original Tacky Glue. This is my glue of choice. Everyone has their own preference, but I absolutely love the Aileen's brand of the Tacky Glue. So I just glued that in the bottom of my bucket. And I held it for a few seconds so that it would adhere and, you know, be sturdy and not lopsided. The flowers that I'm using for my arrangement is from Hobby Lobby and it's just because I had these on hand and this is what I chose for this spring arrangement. But the Dollar Tree has a ton of different spring flowers. So I'm just taking my wire cutters and I am just going to snip all of them off and then I'm going to show you how I, I choose to pick them um, using my pick machine only because I have it and I want to use it. If you don't have a pick machine, that is okay because these stems are very sturdy and you can glue them into the styrofoam with no problem. These flowers are actually from the Dollar Tree and I love them. They're little daisy, little bouquet of things and it has some different greenery and some different texture of flowers that really gives a great variety. These little uh, maybe baby's breath kind of flowers are also from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to include those in my arrangement. These flowers I did find at Hobby Lobby. They were on sale from last year. I'm not sure if they still have those, but I'm just giving you these uh, different options for different ideas. You want to provide different textures and heights into your floral arrangements. This is my pick machine and I purchased it at Hobby Lobby and used a 40% off coupon and what it does is it gives a still pick or it actually is a little machine um, gadget that provides the, a still pick and then it is manually you know you use it manually there's no electricity or anything to it it just you know feeds a still pick you put the end of the flower the cut flower 
on uh, on the end and it just squeezes the little steel pick on the end. This is not necessary. This is just something that I have and I wanted to use it. So um, just showing you here how it works. Okay, I have all of my flowers with the little steel picks on the bottom. So now I'm just gathering them and uh, you know, gonna set them to the side and then I will begin arranging them here in my little bunny bucket. I'm sorry, um, this is the only view that I have. I'm working on something you know where you can see from the side, but I am just sticking and arranging the flowers randomly in the, um, the little bucket. And I did glue, hot glue them in there so that they would stay because you know, over the years, they kind of pull out and, you know, get smushed and that kind of thing. So I'm just arranging them the way that I want. 